so actually I co-developed a, a blood test that predicts your biological age, um, the best that we had until recently. And vitamin D was one of five things we measured that uh, correlated very nicely with longevity. And so I'm a big fan. I take vitamin D every day along with vitamin K2 uh, for my blood vessels. And uh, I give it to my kids too because uh, especially in a place like Boston, uh, you can become deficient. But I also I don't want to go anywhere near being deficient. The vitamin D receptor is very important. My wife, who I mentioned earlier, the scientist, she studied vitamin D for the skin and the health benefits of activating these receptors. Um, and it's critical for, for bone and for skin health. You've got to keep those levels up. But I've looked at the data and I've chosen to become um, mostly vegetarian. And what I'm trying to do is to, to not overload my body with excess protein. You know, we all need protein to live and make, you know, the amino acids are essential. There's no doubt. But overloading it by eating huge amounts of steak, I think, is a mistake. Uh, and one of the, the reasons for that is there's a longevity mechanism in, in all of our cells that responds to how many amino acids we eat, particularly the branch chain amino acids, um, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And if we eat a lot of those, what happens is this longevity mechanism in the body called mTOR doesn't do its job. It becomes lazy. It says, we've got enough food. Let's not worry about surviving any longer. We're going to put our effort into actually growing muscle rather than surviving. And that's why it's good to for bodybuilders to bulk up on these amino acids because it puts the body in a state of growth. But it's probably at the long-term expense of health and longevity, uh, I, I imagine. Uh, there are a lot of studies that show that lowering the activity of this uh, pathway is beneficial, both in animals and in people. Um, there are even drugs that are being developed right now to mimic low amounts of amino acids without actually having to to, to uh, actually avoid uh, a lot of meat. The, the, the one downside of eating a lot of branch chain amino acids from meat, uh, which by studying animals, it was a study from Sydney, Australia, was that these branch chain amino acids unfortunately stimulate the hunger response in your brain, or at least in the animal's brain. And so it actually caused those animals to eat too much and they became obese and died prematurely. And so maybe what our friends are doing, the carnivores, by restricting their feeding uh, is actually counteracting the negative effects of their high branch chain amino acid diet. But that would be something that we'd need to, to really study to say for sure. 